What is going on guys? Politics Gaming here and today I am doing episode 2 of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Last time we basically did um, a overview of what our plans are for the Islamic Republic. Um, I basically reforms for... Oh, actually I didn't even do any reforms yet. But I basically did an overview of what I am going to be doing. Um, I have a hard time breathing today. I don't know why. Um... So basically, I am going to come over here. I'm actually going to, for one, check my budget deficit, make sure I'm not running any debts. Uh, we got a 1.76% budget deficit. Um, I did get a mess, a, a comment. I got a lot of comments on my uh, last video, basically saying that uh, there's a couple things I probably did wrong. Um, Gabriel did give me advice. He said taking down the National Service was a bad idea. Um, I am honestly just going to respond by increasing military spending. 530,000 men. Um, our goal is actually going to be at least six or 700,000. Um, out of a population of 80 million, um, I think that would probably be good. Um, maybe... Our long-term goal can be to have at least a million manpower. United States, um, our budget is only 13, per, 13 billion. Mm, maybe um, soon enough we can introduce another national service um, to basically counter that. So we are in need of imports. So we need to come over here, we need to go to industry, we need to figure out what our trade balance is, um, importations and exportations, active population in the secondary sector is 12 or 19 points, no, 12.9 percent, okay. Um, our GDP in the sector, in the secondary sector is 87.9 billion. So let's go over here and let's see what kind of um, stuff we have to import. Biotechnology is not under, is not being developed. Um, we can go ahead and give them a $10 million subsidy along with government grants to allow them to not spend anything on taxes. So they don't have to worry about taxes for now. Um, building housing and roadway is completely nationalized. Um, so all of the profits are actually going toward the state. That is good, honestly, because, um, building housing and roadways is a very, um, lucrative sector. $41 billion if we were to do that. $59 billion if we were to completely national, or privatize it. Um, which we may do in the future. Either that or we will do that to our chemical sector. Um... Usually, I don't know what kind of sectors you should nationalize or privatize. Um, iron is um, completely um, under is completely uh, under state control. Actually, um, nuclear subs are actually um, let's go ahead and give them exonerations. Even though I don't think nuclear submarines need to be exonerated, um, we have subsidies going toward them. Um, being adjusted for inflation, actually. Um, pharmaceutical inf industry, we can probably import that. Yeah, we can import that from someone. Who should we import it from? Um, we can actually pull that up in the world info. Let's go to balance of trade. United States, Switzerland, France, Germany, Spain, Sweden, Denmark, Israel, Belgium, Central African, Re nope. So these are the guys that we can actually um, import it from, all the way to Belgium, and then after that is completely, we cannot import from anyone. Um, pharmaceuticals, we can ask. Um, all of them have the same exact thing. Um, I think we can ignore that for now. Um, tires, video games, electric components. Actually, let's go over here. Let's see what our trade balance on these are. 
Um, this has a negative trade balance and it is actually going up compared to last year, $36, billion, $36 million compared to $82 million. That is even with subsidies, $61 million worth of subsidies. Um, exoneration, actually not a custom duty, but an exoneration. We already have an exoneration on there. I don't know why. Um, well, actually, plastic, steel, electrical, electronic, and nano robotics industry. I don't know what that is. I am not familiar with that. I've never seen that unless it is, oh, it's probably talking about, uh, robots. Um, so let's go to plastic. Make sure we have a plastic industry happening. Okay, we have a plastic industry. Let's go to electronic components. We have electronic components. Um, electrical materials, we have a deficit in. So let's go ahead and figure out that out and then we can start importing. Um, India has a good surplus as well as Russia. Let's probably go to Russia since I know they're probably gonna, be, we're probably gonna be able to get it from them, and then plus they're closer, so transportation costs are actually cheaper. Um, you know what? I'm gonna invite Russia over and see what else we can actually import. Um, we're gonna do that ahead of our meeting with the president of Turkey, um, and we're gonna go ahead and refuse. Oh, okay. That meeting with um, the president of Rwanda. Let's go for 15 million tons of natural gas, and then let's go for a good 500, 500, so 428, 428, let's go for a flat $400, and go for 10 year contract and then let's go ahead and call this the Tabriz agreement and then let's go ahead and accept this oh whatever um I think that'll be enough for trade with Turkey um one thing I am actually going to go after is Turkey we are going to go after them. We are going to get involved into their political system. We are going to um, insert agents into their um, thing. Let, we're going to sponsor a friendly government, even though um, actually the conservative rightist is actually... Um, see, they're a friendly one, and then once we switch over to a conservative rightist government, like they would basically be on our side. And I could just start influencing them there. Um, or I can just, like, turn in, turn uh, Turkey into a um, <clears throat> religious authoritarian country um, via cyber attacks and um, the likes. So, um, that is an option. Um, but we need to continue to, um, to concentrate on 
getting our um we need to concentrate on getting our economy to work ah oh, come on there are a lot of riots happening outside so there's a lot of discontent there's a lot of discontent in Iran which they are dealing with in real life all right let's send the boys in let's get them beat the shit out of them move in boys come on get them to flee get them to flee get them to flee go 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 move 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 all right let's get them to move in get him go no 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 come on flee 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 Ugh, crap. We missed. Alright, move in, move in, move in. Let's get them out, get them out, get them out, get them out. Open fire if you need to. Alright, and then move into the... Nope, we don't have to move anywhere. Alright. So, what is our relations with everyone else? Horrible relations with the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Neutral rela relations with um, the Russian Federation and Republic of Turkey. Um, bad relations with the United States. Good relations with Venezuela and Yemen, actually. So, I may end up making an alliance with Yemen. Maybe I can send in my um, ships to start assisting them. We actually have air forces we can probably send in. Um, that is actually why I'm going to build an aircraft carrier, because that will actually um, increase our influence. Um, I think uh, my energy policy, honestly, is going to be concentrating on um, these, on fossil energy. Fossil energy seems to be the most, um, the best... Um, the best uh, basic uh, energy source in a lot of countries, even though it does cause a lot of pollution. But um, Iran is not that worried about pollution because we're a Middle Eastern country. Alright, let's keep... I have not been skipping a lot of days. I've only been like commentating and um, doing barely anything. So I need it to reduce this deficit, which I am actually am. So what I am actually doing, I'm actually increasing the revenue um, for the country and the Winter Olympics are now open so let's go back here to currency inflation is slowly going down I think we should just keep going on and then once we get inflation down to like uh, maybe 5% I can go ahead and lower the interest rate to about maybe 10% and um, keep it around 10% for maybe a, like one or two quarters. And then once it um, reaches maybe around 1%, um, somewhere around there, I can actually um, basically, um, what do you call it? I will actually, um, God, I cannot think. Um, whenever it gets down to there, I will actually reduce the um, interest rates to around none. Um, to very low, maybe around 7, maybe 5, 3%. Um, 49.10. Wow. Um, speaking of that, I am actually going to... Slow internet speed. Um, I am actually going to build an oil platform. Which, I, which we can afford it. Because we've never built an oil platform, apparently. Um, oil wells, I'm going to get this to 10 oil wells in the country. I'm going to build some up here up north because I know there are some. there is a lot of oil that is untapped. Over here, I'm going to build one near the Iraqi border. Very, very oil um, potent in this region. Um, I can actually get the number up to 12. 
because we need to start pumping and pumping and pumping just more and more oil. Um, I'm building these oil wells in different parts of the country. Oh, very, very weak. I'm dip building these oil wells in different parts of the country because basically I am going to be able to um, have uh, diversified oil. Um, it does look like um, over here along Afghanistan, Pakistan, there's no oil at all. Turkmenistan. Um, what about Turkmenistan? Did I have oil? Very weak. Turkmenistan start tapping that. Or actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start tapping it. And then, let's go ahead and go to the next one, which I am going to start digging up natural gas. Very good. Let's go ahead and shoot for maybe three to five natural gas wells. Iranian Kurdistan, not that good. Good. Very good. All right, let's build one more in this region right here. And then actually, let's see in southern Iran what is going on here. Well, um, not as um, gas potent as I uh, thought it would be. Um, and then I am actually going to build another oil well in this region. All right, so we got two oil wells, a lot of oil development that we are doing. Um, make sure that we have the resources that we need and the resources that we um, can provide for one, our own country, and for the world. Um, okay, and then so more energy policy. I am actually going to invest a little bit into solar energy. I'm only going to build only two. Um, plants. All right, that it did inflate it by 0.1 percent. <sighs> um, inflation is going down, so that is a good sign. Air land, wow, 46 bases. Um, program to develop nuclear weapons. We can actually dismantle that, and that would actually save us a lot of costs. Um, because honestly, our economy probably cannot um, support a nuclear program. It's uh, it, it's 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 weird. Display regional. Um, let's develop. Our health over there. Let's build two hospitals in this area. $88 million. Um, 
around in Kurdistan, always these border regions and regions such as these, the separatist regions are always good to concentrate on because you can always make them happy. Um, taxation, um, I don't think I'm going to change any of these taxes yet. Looks like um, our deficit did go up by another 0.1%. Have you ever thought about our children's future? Our expenditures are actually going up, but our um, construction of an enrichment center. We have taken every precaution not to it. suspicion that this organization is preparing to carry out an attack in the next few hours. We've also... Amir Hajj. Okay. Let's... Democratic action. Amir Hajj, rented a van, browse and chat that on sites classified as terrorists, and then proceed with an arrest. Let's place these guys under surveillance too. Um, conceals an enrichment spanner. We have taken every precaution not to attract the attention in, of anybody, including spy satellites. We're about to quiet, quietly begin the construction of the center itself. Should be ready within four to six months. Oh. All right. Yeah. See, honestly, that is why um, it's probably the nuclear program that's making our costs go up. Um, most of that would actually be going into defense. Yeah, I th actually think that was because I think that was like 13% a while ago. Yeah, see, 13%, now it's 16%. Um, well, actually, it's gone down 3%. Oh, God. I think that's actually the yearly, and then it just changes yearly. Um, salary. Da da da. 119 days. Um, lots really spicy relations with the rock. Um, and Kuwait. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and change a law. Um, just wow, state under state control propaganda. Um, uh, got it. I'm having a little bit of lag. Jesus. Galicia Freefront. Um, no, I'm not going to give them any funding today. Well, let's go over here to religion, see what our state power to religion is. All right. Um, I think whenever we start moving toward a democracy, I will actually start messing with this. Right now, I'm going to leave it alone. Um, Shiites, Sunnis, and atheists. Um... Let's go to subsidize a religion. Currency, 7.28. Country. The Islamic Republic. Um... Hmm. We need to figure something out that would actually make me money. Determine um, legal legislation on prostitution. Prostitution is illegal. Um, maximum blood alcohol 0.9. Um, I think I'm actually going to put down down to 0.8. Let's go ahead and see what Parliament and the people's opinion of that is. Um, our party is not for it, but um, the right-leaning parties are actually for it. So I think I'm actually going to introduce that. Um, which I just realized, I mean, I don't even have to go through Parliament. Uh, liberties, really? Let's go to elections, see if we can change anything on the elections. 
Um, one turn, I think I will go for that. Probably take a couple of elections to really get into a two-party system. <clears throat> Change of the Parliament's term. Um, Parliament, let's go over there. Change the symptoms, make sure it's majority. Majority is always good. Vote laws, but no motions of no confidence. Um, let's go actually go to political party. Determine legality. Tolerated multi-party system under state control. We can keep that for a little bit, but not for long. Um, once I really start moving toward democracy, I will actually um, pass that. <clears throat> put into a free multi-party system. Um, that will actually put us into a... Um, you know what? Actually, here we go. I'm actually going to change that to mix and unlimited funding. I will actually hold it as a referendum and then do a TV address. Shit. People can't do a referendum. Countrymen and women. Therefore, I have decided to remove all threats by banning this organization. Well, what? That 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 was <clears throat> that was odd. Uh, sects forbid sects. Um, I think I'm gonna keep sects forbidden. Forbidden. Um, regulate right to strike. Limited and monitored. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, you know what? Actually, is this unions or um, what about associations? Dependent from the state. Um, we already have a lot of these of these associations. Let's go over to unions. Let's allow for determine legality of state with regard to labor union. Um, let's go ahead and start tolerating and monitor, um, labor unions. Let's do that. Um. There's a lot of unions that are actually going to be coming in. Human rights, 5.4% approval on that. Massive earthquake in um, Pakistan. Um, let's go ahead and give them some emergency aid since we are their neighbor. $15 million in emergency aid. That should actually soothe relations between both of our governments, um, but not see it actually um, made it for that. National holiday, let's go ahead and accept that and attend our own national holiday. Let's go ahead and go to the beginning of April, and for one, we will get our debt um, incurrence, and two, we will um, pass our bill. I totally disapprove your libertarian pro policy. Mr. President, it is the best way to lose the reins of power and hand it to the people. It is unacceptable, and you have no support if you persist in this way. That is actually why I am actually going to switch over to the conservative rightist movement. It is what the people actually want. 42% of them actually voted for them in the last um, parliamentary election. Um, and the National Sh Communist um, Religious Authoritarian um, Party, which is the party that is actually in power, they do not care about the people. And that what I am going to do is I am going to move toward an Iran that the people would want. Not just a run in which the country just continuously like wants to kill you i mean to be honest it's probably not even like that in iran um liberties and automobile people don't like that because of the law on blood alcohol so again let's go ahead and skip toward um april 
The referendum passed. The new law is therefore entered into force. Turnout was low. Um, so we are now passing some major reforms in which that will actually um, provide a pathway toward democracy in Iran. Um, we are now going to pass our next piece of legislation in which it is now um, changing up our political funding, um, in which it allows for both private and public funding of political parties. Issuance of eight, $823 million of debt. Um, and then let's go... Oh, freedom of association, too. Yeah. Um, so here's our new um, labor or um, unions. We got um, the employer federal union. Um, we have the conventional gas union. We have the conventional oil union. We have the Agricultural Union, um, we have the um, Fighting Union, huh. probably going to ban that one. Um, agricultural, I am going to publicly congratulate them. Um, the Medical, I am going to congratulate them. And then the Public, I am going to... Our economy is going to crash. Our economy is going to crash. Um, we have a 20% growth rate. Um, that's our stock market. We now have a 4.85% surplus. Um, I am going to increase spending just a little bit. This is an excellent figure. Our economy is flourishing, our production increases. Let's go over here to GDP. Let's look at that. Yeah, we had a $100 billion increase in our GDP. Um, mostly because we are exporting oil. Good thing we are now, um, we had those contracts set to 10 years. Um, so we will have prolonged growth. Um, in response, let's go ahead and increase our um, spending just a tad maybe a couple billion dollars um three and a half billion dollars is a hefty price um but i am actually going to invest three and a half billion dollars into our economy um i think i can actually afford that train between bandar abbas and um shiraz so i am actually going to come over here i'm gonna go to um, you know what, should I build a main highway, or, you know what, I'm gonna build a highway. You know what, I actually think is gonna be criticized. Um, where should I build a highway from? I will build a highway from there to there. Um... Sixteen, go for that, and then let's see how. Uh, waste the public money, whatever. We're in, we're in, we're improving the infrastructure in our own country, and um, I think people will like that. So, um, unemployment dropped from fifteen percent to eleven percent. The recent nationalization contributes to the state being viewed as very involved in this sector. This will reflect a responsible and reassuring image of the rulers in place and strengthen its power in some places. But if we had to nationalize on a large scale tomorrow, we would attribute that to authoritarian excesses. Yeah. Um, hang on. Let me look at the... No, not that. Taxation. Let's go over here. Um, nationalized... Yeah, see, that's actually income coming from the nationalized sectors. Um, China, $308 billion from nationalized sectors, $72 billion from us. We're making more off of our nationalized sectors than Russia. 
Um, Turkey is only making three hundred and twenty million dollars, and Pakistan is making six billion dollars. Um, <laughs> we can invest more, more, more. Um, police, let's go over here and invest more into public safety. You know what? I'm actually going to increase funding to public safety. Um, <clears throat> increase funding to highway patrol. Um, criminal investigation is going to have full funding. Cybersecurity task force is going to get increased funding. Um, let's go ahead and pause that. Securities and exchange commission, more funding. Drug task force, let's go ahead and give more funding. More funding to internal affairs. Um, local district police, full funding. Um, political police... Um, more funding, and then fight against the illegal immigration, more funding. Um, and then more pay for our lovely police officers. Legislation, let's go over to legislation, see what we need to do. Let's go ahead and put that to a good old 2000, um, radars. And then... 105,000 um, security cameras. And then go to the next day, see the reaction for that. Um, security, everyone loves that. Controlled immigration, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then finally, let's do one more thing. Oh, let's invest more into our internet. Um, let's go ahead and put this to 25% of the population of Iran is going to be covered by broadband internet. And then 60% is going to be covered by 4G internet. Alright, and then let's go to the next day. Let's see. Reinforcing cybersecurity for the national infrastructure. Cyber protection level is silver. So, thank you. And... Straight face smiley. Mobile 4G internet begins. So finally, go to over to ed education. Let's actually give more funding to our education department. Why is our education department not funded? Okay, let's not fund that. But let's go over here. Let's go to and increase funding to our agricultural, our technical, and our general education <clears throat> and then come over here, let's give more to medical, um, $2 billion, and then economy, law, and commerce, and then literary, and teaching, and then teaching a foreign language. Let's go ahead and put that at a good $2.5 billion that we just invested into our education, and then go to the next day. Ring dismantled, we discovered a wonderful blow. Delivered a wonderful blow last night. We stopped a ring of rebels in the University of Tabriz. They were making bombs to be used in attack against the authorities. The other three, other than three dead among the criminals, nothing to report. Others will rot in prison. Alright guys, this is going to be it for the second episode of the Islamic Republic of Iran. So if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And, um... <clears throat> Catch me in the next episode of the Islamic Republic of Iran, where we will move further closer to democracy. Most likely, what we will do next time is that we will go ahead and change parties, since my party does not like what I am doing. But without further ado, I will see you guys in the next episode. Leave a like, um, go to my Patreon, maybe donate. Um, donate in my live streams, actually, too. And always come to my to my channel because I do hold weekly live streams. Um, I am actually going to get on a schedule for that. Um, but um, then again, I will see you guys in the next video.